Okay, you've probably already read the disclaimer, but I have to say this. This bullet journal was during a very difficult time in my life. So there will be some things here that are quite graphic about my struggle with depression and anxiety. And um, I've tried to block out most of the very graphic bits, but there might still be some disturbing things in here. So if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff, then I would not suggest watching this video and I'll see you next week. But if you're completely fine with that, um, let's just jump into it. So this was my very first bullet journal. As you can tell, it's from April to July 2017. Um, it's just a regular standard Leuchtturm 1917 A5 dotted notebook. <laughs> Um, in yellow and I really like this color because it was quite happy and at that time in my life I was very black white and gray and maybe navy blue if I was feeling wild so this was a great pop of color in my bookcase right sorry about that that was my phone and that's my phone again <laughs> I'm just gonna turn you mute all right so let's jump into this bad boy So this was my key, um, I had it like a flip out thing, I obviously didn't stick to this very much but it was cool, all I did was take a thick piece of paper and washi tape it on both sides so it stays in place but also flips around. So this was a very cool quote um it's kind of fun to do the impossible like obviously my lettering was very amateur at this point but this was my very first attempt at proper hand lettering so i won't hold that against myself too much um this is my index which i used quite well actually um obviously all my dailies and weeklies are not in it but all the important stuff is right up to my plan for my next bullet journal, which I'm very proud of. So the Leuch terms have these printed in, um, mostly because they have numbered pages. So this is my 2017 at a glance. As you can tell, there was uh, some issue with spacing and all of that. I was still quite brand new to all of this. Um, my calendex and my future log. These were all events uh, for April, May and June. April was when I actually started this notebook and for the future which was like my graduation and all of that stuff in July. Um, obviously I didn't use this <laughs> nearly enough but I thought it was an amazing system to have. Life goals. So I did barely any of these, but they are, my life is still going and I might just achieve all of these, hopefully. <laughs> so this was my first ever April monthly spread kind of thing and I had it very basic because I didn't quite know what would work for me and what wouldn't. So here's my basic tracker and this was super, super helpful to bring to my GP when I was um, consulting with her for my mental health. So this mood tracker and I still track my moods just as rigorously every single month. So these were the important dates, uh, my gratitude list and my happy things list. I thought this these were worth keeping separate because this was the first thing I would write every morning and this was the last thing I would write at night. So this was more like in general things I'm grateful for and this was good things that happened every single day. Um, my first weekly, as you can see, very compact, very basic, probably because there wasn't much to do. I think I started this on the Thursday so I started this journal on the Thursday. Clearly I was too impatient to wait for the next week. Um, I have some journaling here and I think as we go through this bullet journal you'll see I have a lot of um, thought trains of thought written down. A lot of this was because I was severely depressed and I needed somewhere to 
kind of sit down and think about my thoughts and think about why and analyze them and all of that crazy stuff. So there was definitely a thoughts page and meals because I was very, very disorganized with all of my meals because I had to cook for myself and do all the shopping and all of that crazy stuff. So I had this, which helped immensely. All right, this is my font collection. And the reason I want to show you this is because of this cool little like page marker. This is just a cut up corner of an envelope and you just stick it onto the page that you want to mark out. Ooh, get in there. Yep. And it's quite easy to tell where the page is when the book is closed. Um, again, this is a more adventurous daily page. <laughs> Another weekly, I think this is where it really started to work out for me with all these little gadgets and my daily tasks and all of that good stuff. Um, another daily um, a makeup wish list. This is probably one of my favorite dailies of all time because of just how delicate and pretty this pattern is. I'm really proud of this one. Um, just some brain dump about hearing and sensory neural hearing loss. And <laughs> another one of my favorite dailies actually is this one because it's really nice and pink and pretty. Do you know what? I actually really love all of these. <laughs> I wish I wish I had stuck with bringing so much color into my daily spreads. I might just go back to it. Um, this was Easter weekend, which to me was basically going to see my GP and revising for my final exams for my final year of university. Um, medication I've been on. This was a super helpful log for me and my GP at the time where I wrote down every single drug that I've been on, the dosage from, to and the side effects and why we stopped it. Um, the important thing with mental health medication is that not everything works for everyone and more often than not it gets much worse than it gets better. So this is just a log, a helpful log, I must say, to see why I was taking off certain medication, why I was taking off certain dosage and all of that. So that's a very good one to have if you're on chronic medication. A uh, self-care checklist and safety plan. So at the time I was very, I was very depressed and I was constantly having horrible episodes, putting my life in danger, putting myself in danger and all of that. So I feel like these were quite apt at the time. All right, so a little boxy weekly, <laughs> a bunch of different things. So again, this was just during the revision week before my final exams. Um, this is such a lovely spread. Like, I'm so proud of it. This was inspired by Daenerys and the dragons. And there's a little dragon egg in the fire. That's another one of my classic favorite spreads is the little curly clouds. Very proud of that. This was when I started Bulleting Bird, back when it was Bulleting.Bird throwback <laughs> um, and this was my follower tracker and oh I was only at 350 that is so cute I mean oh <laughs> and these are the things that I want to learn a couple more dailies places I've been places I want to be a uh, couple more collections more dailies and we're just gonna breathe through some of the repetitive stuff because well it's going to be boring. Oh, I like this one. This was really nice as well. Um, and this was my cover page for May. And I had marked it out with the pink because this was the pink month for me at a glance. So this is where my monthly started to get a little more defined, a little more decent and a little more goal oriented. So this is something that I kept for every single month is have a page full of goals for that month and here I split it into four areas of my life but mostly these days I just have it as a running list. Um, my tracker, 
here I tried to track my mood at three different times of day which was a little tedious I mean it looks amazing right now and I think I might bring these colorful dot style trackers back for August but this was incredibly hard to keep up with and most days I was just like I'm just gonna guess what I was feeling a couple of hours ago um, my trigger signs of a breakdown again very important mental health spread this was my revision tracker for how many essay plans I'd done how much recommended reading extra reading all of that okay so this is hands down my favorite weekly spread ever I mean, look at the pink and green. I am so proud. I love the little coffee donut and croissant doodle here. And this little, like, wraith doodle here. And the little tiny envelopes. Oh. <laughs> so this was my... I think I was doing the doodle a day challenge where the theme was food, I believe. So this was pineapples, this was a salad. And I thought this was really cool. And I was so proud of like this little um, doodle here, which was like open eyes and pineapple sizes. Blah, 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 blah. So this day's theme was obviously candy. And oh, gosh, I really love this. Um, and these were just a few I had written down and this is just a list of luxuries that I've actually owned which I really love um, this was donuts I believe uh, coffee and donuts and I really oh my goodness look at that little specular highlight on that donut how pretty <laughs> well done Srish this was muffin obviously this was I think the day I got my tattoo which this one oh I don't know if it's visible that tattoo and I was so freaking excited because it was two days before my birthday um, so this was the tattoo aftercare and this was the point in my life where I really started to feel alive again and I could feel the depression lifting and the medication working and all of that good stuff and I was really happy for the first time in years and years and years um, so this was a very tattoo font inspired spread. Um, again, another weekly in the style that I really love. Um, and this was the day I turned 22. And quite frankly, I was so grateful to be alive, to be there, to have fought through the depression and to have just made it to 22 and the theme for the day was pizza but I wanted it to be like a birthday pizza <laughs> so there's a little candle on it and I was so happy this was one of my happiest days in such a long time um, and these are just a bunch of pictures that I got off Tumblr and printed out like obviously these were only for personal use um, but they are so pretty and I really love how girly this particular one is um, so, oh, I really love this background. So how this happened was a piece of cling film. I had so much cling film left over from when I got the tattoo because you need to wrap it up in cling film to prevent it from being exposed to the air and it, it avoids um, infection on your tattoo. And I had so much cling film left over. So I just, so I just took a piece of cling film, painted over it with my brush pens, sprayed some water over it, flipped it over, and then just and look how beautiful. <laughs> I might do this again, actually. Um, again, same effect here. Um, I actually really love these. I love how beautiful and pastel, and I remember this was the week I first started listening to Ed Sheeran's new album, and that was probably one of my happiest memories of all time. Again, this was a difficult couple of days. Um, this was during my first exam and I was incredibly anxious and all of that ugly stuff. Uh, these, actually, are very inspired by Amanda Rachley who shared how to draw these little roses and I was absolutely obsessed with them for a couple of days. And then I did some more of that watercolour background which turned out so nice. And, oh, more roses. I really love this. 
and here you can see my writing is kind of starting to improve a little bit so this was all drills and more drills and I really like this bit uh, this was when I started to read again which is really nice because it, it had been so long since I'd read anything but scientific papers some more drills here and June all right so June was probably when I really went like mainstream bullet journal at this point so this washi was a birthday gift and I really love it it's got like little shells and stuff on it it's from paper chase and they come in like a pack of six I believe um but it was a gift from my best friend and I love every little bit of it <laughs> so June again with the goals this time I just split it into mind and body goals because I, I was pretty much done with my exams and I didn't really have any education goals left. Um, this was just my June at a glance, very calendar style, my gratitude list. I really love this quote, it's uh, fall in love with walking this earth and it is from thehappyproject.com and I thought it was really apt at the time because I was pretty much in the process of rediscovering my life at this point so again a reading list brain dump page movies to watch tv series tracker i was really starting to enjoy the little things again and i think that is why june was such a revolutionary month uh, for me personally um so again creativity things about creativity popping up is always a good sign for me because that was completely missing clean out spreads packing spreads all of that stuff because i was soon to move out of university accommodation half yearly check-in for my goals and all of that stuff a collection of quotes because why not <laughs> another weekly again more creativity coming in and this is when i realized that actually maybe i'm in the wrong line of work as much as I loved my cause, as much as I loved neuroscience and the human brain and the human potential, I think I loved it mostly because of our propensity towards creativity. To, I, I don't know, it's just something I can't explain. This is when I started to kind of doubt what I was doing with my life, but I didn't want to admit it quite yet. But that's okay, we'll get there another reading list as you can tell i truly truly missed reading just in general i missed holding a book in my hands i missed feeling the paper that wasn't riddled with experiments and pictures of mice and rats and all of that crazy stuff so again this was in the middle of my move summer inventory where everything was in all of my bags um just some last minute packing some dolphins and as you can see i was starting to incorporate some brighter colors into my life which was really nice um again just be grow strong these were all i was honestly in the middle of a really bad relationship and i was just i was feeling stuck because for the first time in such a long time i could actually see all the things that I could have and I had kind of put them out of my own reach so that was uh, kind of um, a month of epiphany I think for me uh, so this was just some summer work that I did a log of all of this so I I loved keeping my track my a track of my hours like this where I color coordinated all that I did so I worked at a school and I managed that I helped out in the nursery and I helped out during lunchtime and sometimes after school club sometimes I tea stuff you know and this was the first time I really had regular work and I was so proud at the time um, this is just June and review and July so July for me was kind of a weird month because at the start of it we were still oh I love these patterns at the start of it I was still in the middle of work and summer and all of that and then halfway through July my life was completely different because 
my parents came to England for the first time and I was graduating and within the span of like this week I had my parents over, I graduated and I moved back to India. It was so quick, so this was my first spread after coming back to India and it was kind of crazy just how quickly my life had transformed and it was a little difficult for me the anxiety and the stress put me into another deep depression for a bit but it was okay because I knew I would be okay so CV updates postgrad prospects back when I was still thinking of being a neuroscientist and trying to force myself into a job that I would hate job applications that I made and finally some spread ideas for my new bullet journal which was the emerald bullet journal edition Lloyd's term 1917 so I think this is towards the end oh this was during <laughs> this was during my um what, what was it Harry Potter HP your way challenge I tried that for July and it was really cool um, some study tips which are on my Instagram by the way so if you go far enough back you might find these and I think just a couple of yep swatches and this was oh this was just a random spread I made because my name is so strange my name is Swish and I've been called so many different things like this someone actually called me sushi in an email it wasn't even they didn't even mispronounce it they just called me sushi and i was like dying laughing it was crazy so if you think you have a weird name i can promise you mine's weirder <laughs> and finally a couple of pen test pages this was where i was testing out some watercolor gradients um some washi tapes just to see with the dvd marker um, Crayola super tips, ABT brush pens, and that is pretty much it. So, in the back pocket, we have ooh, a sheet of stickers from my other uh, day planner from Paper Chase. These are so cute. I actually stuck some of these on the label. Um, I might actually use these again. A bunch of labels, uh, also from paper chase or I think these were from Wilco actually um, the little sleeve that comes with the dotted notebook the little booklet and the card that also come with the notebook a recipe for curry <laughs> and a tattoo aftercare sheet that my tattoo uh, parlor people gave me so there we go that's pretty much all there is to my very first journal this has seen me through some very difficult times and some very big transformations and i will forever be grateful to be brought to this i just happened to stumble upon an image of bullet journaling on tumblr one day in march of 2017 and it was crazy i didn't know anything about this i didn't know what a bullet journal was so i looked it up and i learned it and honestly now i simply cannot live without it so i will truly be grateful to that tumblr account which for the life of me i cannot remember which one it was um but it's brought me to where i am it's brought me to you guys and for that i am truly grateful so there you go guys i hope you've enjoyed flipping through my old bullet journal i know i have and i i truly miss how colorful these spreads were and i might just bring all of that silliness back i think th over time my bullet journal has become way too serious and i think it's about time to bring back some levity so anyway I hope you've enjoyed this thank you so much for spending some time with me today I, I absolutely love spending time with you all the time um, if you like this leave a comment below tell me what you think I would love to hear your thoughts I would love to hear if you would like to see these playful spreads again in my new journals um, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I put out new videos every single Thursday and check out all of my other bullet journal videos i will leave a link to a playlist down below um give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next week bye